Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every single day is a train show. It just keeps coming in. There's trains in that box and then it comes in this train and then you get an order you have to send it out. There's just so many trains. Anyway, we're going to take a look at some things that we have that we have hopefully going to be finding the way on your lab real soon. And I got to start with some... KD couplers because a lot of us like to upgrade our couplers to KD and I have a whole bunch of different variations of KD couplers. These are some of the multi-packs that I have here. For example, this is the 148-25. This is the bolt pack 25 pair of the number 148. So if you're looking for multiple couplers to put on your cars, that might be a way for you to go. Or this is the 58-25. Hi, 25 pack of the 25s there. Or, I'm sorry, 58s. And this is a 20 pack of the number five here. So I got a whole bunch of different ones of these. And of course I have the single uh, packs available as well. So if you're looking to upgrade uh, your cars with some Katie wheels, Katie couplers, Katie whatever, we got a whole bunch of those on our website, yankeedabbler.com. So type that in in your search engine, get that in your car and we'll send it to you so you can upgrade your cars. So we're gonna do something a little bit different on today's show. It's actually gonna be an interactive show. All right, so you guys are actually gonna have the opportunity to decide where we go in this show. So getting your phones out and you or your computers and typing in either A or B, you get to decide what we do next. So for example, if you want me to continue to talk about those hopper cars, which I really hope we do because I really enjoy looking at them, I want you to type A. And if you're interested in seeing me do something weird, I don't know, like uh, try to juggle pens, <laughs> type B, all right? So I'll do that now. I'll calculate the results. <laughs> Okay, so so I got three of them. I, I don't. I'm just gonna try two, I guess. Let's see. I mean, oh, okay. That was that was. Hey, look at this. Maybe we got a new career here. Okay. Oh, see. Hmm. Spoke too soon. Okay, I'm gonna try to do three. Let's see if I can get that going. And uh, see, I see. This is hard, man. I don't. Yeah. I, I wish we were talking about hopper cars. Okay, let's see. I gotta try this once more and okay yeah forget this we're gonna take a look at more trains we're actually gonna be taking a look at some more hoppers now from atlas and these are actually covered hoppers from the master line so let's check out these covered hoppers so these are some center flow covered hoppers that i have here from atlas and i have a bunch of different row names here some of these are the early variations and some of these are the late variations just depending on what they are and the detailing that they have here but a couple of these are really nice looking cars here. That Wisconsin Central Canadian National one's a really neat looking car here. But probably my favorite two are kind of up here. I have these uh, Southern Pacific cars that are actually patched to include the Union Pacific logo on there. And then I have the regular Southern Pacific car. So this is kind of like a before and after that you can model. So you could have what it looked like. And then, of course, the merger to take over with the Union Pacific and what it looks like now. So that's a really cool looking cars here. Now, these are covered hopper cars, and they do have very nice detailing on them. And they're very well packaged, too. So I know a lot of people complain about the packaging that these things come in. They say it gets to them broken or whatever. Well, no need with these cars because they are really nicely packaged in there. And I know that you're really going to enjoy the security of having those things shipped to you if you so choose to do that. So these cover hopper cars are really nice. And so once again, I have a bunch of different uh, road numbers for these cars. So if you're interested in this patch job that I have here, well, you get a whole bunch of different ones rolling on your railroad. Now, the uh, retail value of these cars are $48.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $34.99. So once again, a very good deal to get on these cars. You get a whole bunch of these cars rolling on your railroad. I think you're really going to enjoy them, especially if you need some cover hoppers pulling. Uh, are pulling some of the commodities on your railroad will look no further than these covered hopper cars all right so once again go with the interaction of this show if you're interested to hear more about these covered hopper cars click a or type a on your computer or smartphone and if you want me to see me do something else i don't know like uh, do a bottle flip you know remember that thing type b all right so i will calculate the results and we'll see what we come up here i really hope we take a look at these covered hoppers they are really neat so i'm getting the results right now Okay, here we go. I, I don't know. I, I mean, let's see. I don't know if there's too much water in here or not. See, it's not like flipping. Like, I got a little cheese going on the computer. I don't want to destroy that. And maybe I need to drink some more. All right, how about now? 
and it just goes straight down. Why am I doing wrong? How are those like nine year olds doing this on TikTok and I can't figure it out? Come on, come on, come on. stop it. All right, it's, oh, I almost had that one. There, did it, amazing. Let's talk about trains again. All right, so enough of looking at hopper cars. We're going to be taking a look at a diesel locomotive, and we're actually going to go back to end scale land to take a look at some brand new scale tray diesel engines that I hope you really enjoy. So I have three different styles of diesel locomotives to share with you from scale trains. This one I have here is a GE C40-9, and that's a Norfolk Southern. And then these engines right here are the C44-9W. And I have here the Santa Fe, and I have a rusted weathered santa fe that is a really cool look especially if you like a a more weathered lived in type of engine that is definitely a tired locomotive there we got the union pacific and i have a former southern pacific engine that's now patched for the union pacific so pretty cool variations there and then finally i have here the ge tier 4 jevos i have here a nice union pacific engine there i always love that american flag there we have this a veterans unit for the Canadian National. I love that engine. It's a great look there. We have here the Kansas City Southern Diesel Locomotive. And then finally, we have here the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Now, these are great looking diesel engines. And, of course, you get all the great things that you get with a scale trains locomotive. I mean, these are just really nicely designed. And if you like some modern diesel locomotives, I mean, this is just... This is exactly what you're looking for here. I can see you putting a whole bunch of these engines, and then, believe it or not, I do have different numbers. So I'm interested in this patch job, for example, this uh, rusted weathered Santa Fe diesel. I have a couple of different engines, so I could get a couple of them pulling trains, and uh, I think that would look really great. You can also pair with a really nicely looking more bonnet one, too. I think you need these engines pulled, uh, pulling trains, rather, on your railroad. So let's get one of them fired up. All right, so I got the Santa Fe on the track. Actually, the box, uh, it says this is a BNSF, and if you take a look real closely at the cab there, you're going to notice it says BNSF right there. So this is actually a BNSF locomotive. So let's get this one fired up and see what it sounds like. Okay. All right, here's the belt. Here's the horn. Alright, let's get this engine going. Nice. Let's get the things going at track speed. So these diesel locomotives are awesome. I really enjoy having these on uh, running on the layout. And I think you will too, especially if you're an end scaler. Now, I have a couple different prices. The Givo uh, retails for 
289.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for 232.99. And then the other two diesel locomotives here, we have retailing for 304.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for 244.99. So I really enjoy these engines, especially if you take a look at some of these patch jobs that we have here. Wait for the camera to focus there. I mean, these are just a really great detailed locomotives here. I really enjoy all the hard work the scale trains does to make sure that you get a nice quality diesel engine. And if you're an end scaler and you want some motive power, get these running on your rails today. All right, so I have an idea, but again, interactive show. If you want to see me run all those diesel engines in one big contest, type A. Or if you want me to, I don't know, see how many Atlas track boxes I can stack on end and hit B, all right? All right, this is definitely got to be a... Why do you hate me? Just, just why? Just... Okay, um, I guess this is going to be a challenge because they don't like to, I mean, that's one right there, but I'm, can't, maybe I got to do like Jenga style a little bit, like crisscross them or something. Like, see, that's not going to work. These are empty, so don't worry when they fall down, I'm not breaking things. See, that's, I don't know if I could get, okay, okay, look at that, look at that, got two, got two. I don't think I'm going to get any more than three. I mean, three, it's a little wobbly. A little wobbly, oh man, this is this is riveting stuff right here. See, I don't know. I wonder if I like did it like a little crooked or something. And, all right, so apparently I got two. So uh, yeah, that was fun for a little bit. Try to do that and see diesels run. Yeah, that's fine. More trains. So we're going to be taking a look at one more diesel locomotive, and this is actually an Atherin diesel locomotive. It is a great Northern GP7 that I really enjoy, and I hope you do as well. So I have here an Atherin GP7 Great Northern diesel locomotive, and I really enjoy this engine. Like, there's nothing about the Great Northern. I just think it's a great-looking paint scheme, especially on diesel locomotives. That orange and that green, sometimes it's a darker green, sometimes it's a lighter green. This could be the Empire Builder Colors. I mean, these are just great looking diesel locomotives here. And I have three different row names for this engine. I love all the different in, uh, things that are on top of the engine as well, preparing it for the various elements and whatnot. I mean, if you're looking for a diesel locomotive that's not just a Santa Fe or a Burlington Northern or a Conrail or whatever, I really enjoy this great Northern. And again, I have three different row numbers. So if I want to get three different engines pulling trains, well, I could do that. So let's fire this engine up because I'm very excited to hear what it sounds like. All right, so I got this engine fired up. Let's take a listen to the bell. Great bell. Let's take a listen to the horn. Awesome. Nice. I love the sounds. Let's see what this sound looks like in action. All aboard. Arriving on track number one, train number 608, Great Northern Hopper Train. That's a great set of diesel locomotive, and again, I have three different row numbers, so if I want to get all three of them, I can do that. Now, the retail value of this engine is $319.99, but the GP7 is selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $271.99. 
Mazer makes a quality product there, and I really enjoyed that diesel locomotive, so I think you definitely need that running on your railroad today, especially if you're a Great Northern fan. All right, so we're going to conclude with our <coughs> interactive show. All right, it's been a little hit and miss. You know, you haven't really been to get, telling me what I want to do, but that's all right because this is the last one. I know this is going to be great. So I can either A, type A, if you want me to run all the hopper cars with the GP7, or type B if you um, want me to sing a song about Yankee Dabbler trains. <laughs> All right? So I know a lot of you don't like my singing voice. So there you go. So, I mean, this has got to be a slam dunk. Or... Oh, we got trains for you, whether many or few, at a Yankee Dabbler. We got diesels and steam. We're a railroad modeler's dream at a Yankee Dabbler. Well, say hi to Frank or Bob. We promise you will not stop because we got trains in every scale at Yankee Dabbler. Why are you doing this to me? I just want to run trains. This interaction of the show was a big bust. All right, let's take a look at some of the things that we took a look at today. Do a little recap of our video. So for Mathern, I had this Great Northern GP7, which is available in three different road numbers. I have from Atlas two different types of hopper cars, including the center flow covered hopper cars, as well as those 70 ton nine panel hopper cars. For the end scalers, I had either a tier four Jeevo or we had the C44-9W or the C40-9. And of course, we also talked about some KD couplers as well. I want to thank you very much for watching our video today. And hopefully some of these things uh, spark the interest in your model railroading appetite. And you will get them pulling or being pulled on your railroad and having hours of railroading fun. However, if you did not see what you were looking for, well, you can always type in our website, yankeedabbler.com. Go into the search engine, type what you're looking for, and hopefully we have it so we can get it packed, shipped to you, and you can have it for a lot of fun on your railroad, spending time with yourself, the family, whatever. It's your railroad, your rules, you do what you want. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on all the latest videos that we have coming up. We finally reached our goal. We got the 4,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for all of you who made that happen. Uh, as promised, we're going to have a special 4,000 subscriber video coming out, so stay tuned for that. I want to thank you very much for tuning in again, and we're going to conclude with a rail fan video. We're going to go to the SMS Railroad. We're actually going to take a look at the Woodstown Central that had a diesel locomotive pulling Gaboose um, charters up and down their line and it was a really neat experience to see a 1953 diesel locomotive on a main line pulling a redding caboose so i hope you enjoyed this clip of the woodstown central railroad and actually they're uh restoring a steam locomotive uh that hopefully maybe sometime this year will be operational so make sure you stay tuned to that and of course you know me and the steam if it's going to be running i will get a video so hopefully you'll see that later on this year but for the meantime enjoy this diesel locomotive pulling a writing caboose well until next time i gotta think about our uh 4, subscriber video so let's see i told you i'm gonna bust out all the stops here so we're gonna get a celebrity on our show okay i went on that cameo thing so we're gonna see what celebrity i can get for 37 dollars okay so let's see it looks like we can either get uh stormtrooper number five from the force awakens it's an option there uh, we can get um, Dead Guy number three on CSI Miami. Mm, okay. Uh, we can get the guy that was in back at Dwight Schrute in season one of The Office. Oh, or Tom Arnold. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe Tom Arnold. I don't know. We'll say we're, we're going to get something special here. So that's interesting. You know what? I bet you Nicholas Cage will do it. Apparently, he does everything. <laughs>